This is an in <laughs> column liquid air. Water column can oscillate. Now, of course, they will give us the equation. This is the uh, specific scenarios equation. A equals to negative 2G over X. And they ask us to show that it undergoes simple harmonic motion. The general simple harmonic motion is A equals to negative omega square X. Or if we can show that this equation can become A proportional to negative X, ah, then it is simple harmonic motion. But it can only be true if all this 2G over L is constant. So generally, when you see this type of question, they ask you to show, show, show. Uh, you need to do some proofing. Lah. So this one to show, you want to first thing say, 2G L is G constant? What's G? Uh? G is acceleration of free fall 9.81. Oh yes, that one constant. I mean, assuming we're on the surface of the Earth. L, liquid length of the column. If the pipe is constant diameter all the way, the L should be the same. Uh. Because here you just go L. So we can assume L is constant. I, I mean, if not, it's, we cannot say simple harmonic motion already, okay? So here we can say G and L are constant. So, acceleration is proportional to negative X. I mean, that's a shortcut, the lazy way of saying it. And undergoes simple harmonic motion. This is a short form version. If you want to say the extended version, uh, this one, you want to say acceleration is proportional to negative x and it is the opposite direction. Also can. So one key idea is knowing the constants. Okay, what is constant? G and L. Okay, therefore you can say, oh, okay, this thing, whole thing gone, so you follow the pattern. This second pattern is the second key idea. So that's B1. Yeah, let's move on to the next part. So oscillate, oscillate, oscillate. Ooh, yo, this one got damping and eh? you see the, the, the amplitude will decrease, 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 decrease. Fine, okay, okay, okay. What are we supposed to find here? Use the data to determine the length L of the liquid column. It, remember what I say? If they give you equation, good chance is you have to use the equation to find some value inside. Okay, let's zoom out and see the whole picture. So if I compare my general equation with specific scenario for this case, omega square is going to be 2G over L. So I'm going to write that first thing first. By comparing, omega square is 2G over L. Then omega, uh, we know G. You want to find L. What is W? Omega. I think we have to find it from this graph again. So we have to find, okay, let's do the finding. Let's pick this point as our reference point. One down and up, highest point again. This is now 0 0.5. That's how long it takes to go one complete oscillation. This is T. So we're going to write that as our T. Hopefully you got to fill in or find 0 0.5 from the graph. And we go to this. Yeah. So omega is 2 pi over t. Don't forget the square. We have 2g over l. And of course, we can sub in all the values. This one will be 0 0.5. Yeah, 0 0.5. Ah, ah yes, yeah, 0.5. Square. 2 times 9.81 over l. 1, 2, 4. Okay, we'll take that as hopefully correct. If anyone got objection, let me know. So 0 0.12. So this will be 1 or well, 3. 1 to equate omega squared is g over l and 1 to find t from the graph. So this one is from graph. Okay. Nice. So in case you haven't seen this before, I'm going to fill up a pipe so you can see for your own eyes. So here I have with me a rubber pipe used for fish tank but i somehow have an extra one here and there is a column of water inside so if i start the oscillation off it will start to oscillate and turn on the light maybe you can see it better okay so i like that ah. 
You see, you just swing up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then, over time, if you notice, this oscillation will slowly decrease. Like, it won't keep swinging forever. One. Like, I just wash it. You see how long it takes uh, to stop oscillating? You say, Miss, this is just water splashing, splashing inside. Yeah, but it's oscillation. It's simple harmonic. And it is slowly losing energy. Okay, almost flat now. Wait, uh, wait, uh. Almost flat now. Uh. Okay, oh, oh, no more oscillation already. Anyway, so you think hard about water. Actually, water does have friction. It's kind of hard to imagine. Uh, imagine this is a tube. And you got some nice water molecules inside, filling up the tube. Water resistance? Mm, yeah, sure, we could call it that. There are water molecules here, they can collide over each other, attract each other, pull each other, and within, among, among themselves, there can be friction. Other places though, ooh, adhesion, ooh, cohesion, okay. What's the difference between cohesion and adhesion? Sounds like the same thing. <laughs> I, I, I suppose you mean the, the water will stick to the wall, the sticking. Yeah, they're actually quite sticky. And the stickiness, how sticky is this liquid, kind of is related to what we call viscosity. So I don't know, cohesion, adhesion, adhesion, I'm not sure which term is the one, but yes, there is some friction between the walls. So between each molecules, the H2O, they affect each other. They attract each other, they pull together, vendor walls, or I don't know, whatever, what other forces. And there's also the walls of this container, not entirely smooth. If you zoom right in, the walls is actually all molecule also. There's some friction there as well. So what we can write here is, why damping? Friction. But where friction? Got to add a little bit more detail. So you can say friction within the liquid itself. Or some of your suggestion, uh, water kind of like water resistance, okay? friction within liquid, or you can say with the walls, like, sorry, between wall and liquid. That's the one with the walls of the container. Between wall and liquid, probably related to adhesion or cohesion. So you say this one also okay, you say this one also okay. Uh, other ones, if you talk about viscosity, you can say, oh, because of viscosity of liquid. It's another word for internal friction of a liquid. Lah. Friction with liquid and viscosity, similar words. Or you can say uh, viscous drag. Drag force applies to all kinds of fluid, which includes air. So viscous drag, one, two, three, four. Any of this one, you just need one only. Lah. Okay, so that's our source of damping right there in our oscillating liquid. Last one, ratio of total energy. If we forget the equation already, we have to re-derive it. If you remember the equation, you can straight away go. But when you see ratio, you see total energy and total energy. So you need to find an equation for total energy. If you memorize it, you can just use it. But if not, we have to start back again. Total energy can find with Ke max. So half m. V square maximum. That's our starting point. But then we need to sub in what is V max. So half M omega times A square. So really Ke max or total energy got this half M omega square A square equation that we can use for this. Uh, a lot of variable here. M is constant and not a variable constant. Omega is constant. So E is proportional to A squared. So if I take ratio, I just need to take the ratio of amplitude after over amplitude initial. And don't forget the square. One point five oscillations. If this is 1t, uh, 1.5, that means I have to stop here. So this is 1.5, one and a half cycle. One cycle and a half. What's the amplitude? Wow, I cannot see. Initial amplitude is 2.0. I know it's 2.0. 
after 1.5. Okay, time to zoom in now. Can see, can see. This amplitude will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1.3. Okay, 1.3. So then we have to plug in 1.3 as our amplitude over here. So after 1.5 is after 1.5 cycle, you have 1.3 cm, which doesn't matter because we can cancel out the cm later. It's just a ratio. And initial energy, the very first time you pull and let go, this is 2 cm. So we write here 2 cm. Cm, cm is gone. 1.3 divided by 2.0. Ah, now my hands are free, I can press calculator. Okay, 1.3 squared over 2.0 squared. 0 0.0, 1.3, eh? One, oh, I typed wrong. Wait, 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 wait. 1.3, there we go, 0 0.4225. Now ratios, I can just stick to my 2SF as usual. So 0 0.42 is a good final answer to wrap up. So this year is going to be one mark. If you use the equation, either write it out explicitly or you write a square over a square. That's also one lah. But I will recommend every time you do working, write the equation first, then you substitute inside. 